Congratulations, you survived hosting your holiday parties, and now there's only one thing left to do. Put away all your Christmas decorations. Are you feeling a bit overwhelmed? Lisa Soma with Organizing by Lisa is here to help. She has some ideas to help whip your home into shape in no time. Lisa, thanks for joining me today. Yes, you're welcome. Excellent. So tell me what we want to do now that everybody's sad, Christmas season is over, we've got to pack everything away. Where do we start? Right. You want to start with totes. Okay. Totes. I love Ziploc bags for containing things. You can either go to the store and buy things um, such as this, or you can use an old apple container or an egg crate works good for little breakables. So you can either go and buy stuff or you can kind of DIY your own um, storage at home. So when do we get started? People wonder, you know, I'm going to leave my, my tree up until Easter. Is that, what, what, what do you recommend? <laughs> when do you recommend we start taking all this down? You know, it's, it's a personal thing when you want to take it down. I myself put it up the day after Thanksgiving and I want it down the day after Christmas. Other people say, no, you've got the 12 days of Christmas. You've got to leave it up until sure. January, whatever. Um, and then some people might want to leave it up until Easter and then put eggs on the tree instead. Yeah. So That's personal, a great preference. Idea. personal preference. I, you know, I like to leave it up until New Year's and okay. then, and then kind of get started. Yep. So, okay, Lisa, let's get organized. Let's get started. Right. Where, where do we begin? Okay, so what I recommend is if you have, say, two or more trees in the house, have a tote or totes labeled per tree. So if you have the little girl's tree, you're going to put all those decorations in one tote and label it the little girl's tree, not mix and match all the trees together. That way, when you pull out next year, it's right there and ready to go. Um, and the labelers are easy to get, right? You can just go out yes. and buy a labeler. Yes, yes. The clear totes. Mm -hmm. I love that mm -hmm. you've got uh, yep. everything that's on that tote so you can easily... Pull it find down, find for what next you need. Year. Yep, and if you don't want it next year, you know what's in there and you don't have to pull that tote out. Yep, and now you're using egg cartons here, I, I yeah. noticed. That's a neat idea. Yep, yep, so you can put fragile things in there, little, the little tiny balls and things will fit great in there. You can go to Menards or Home Depot, wherever, and get something like this. Um, this actually uh, came from Costco. It had apples in it to begin with. So that works great for Christmas bulbs, There you go. Too. That works good for the Christmas mm -hmm. bulbs because a lot of times those can get smashed or broken, broken. if yes. you're, if you're sure packing can. things yep. down too yep. much. Yep. So the beads work the beads great for in a bag. Ziploc works baggies. Works great in a Ziploc baggie. Um, I yes. have some tins that I store a little, you know, I'll store this guy in here and put the lid on and he's safe in there. That's um, great. Yeah, reeds, you can buy something to put those in, or you can take a simple hanger and a garbage bag. I always recommend covering things, especially if you're going to hang it out in the garage so it doesn't get dusty and dirty throughout the year. Saves you having to clean it all when you pull it out next year. Sure. Now, are there uh, any place that we can take um, if we have extra decor that we don't use? Are there, are there businesses in town that... You know, I always recommend Savers. They're my favorite donation spot. I dropped some stuff off there yesterday. Um, but you can, you know, l I always say Google your favorite uh, nonprofit or whatever and see what their wish list is and donate okay. it there accordingly. Mm -hmm. So where do you start? You start with the tree? Do you start with the lights? The, the you living room? You start where? wherever you want. If you want to start, you know, if you want to start with the easiest, maybe the mantle's the easiest and the tree's the most difficult because you have to go around and around and take things off that way. But um, you know what? Start wherever you want to. Just get started. Yep. So are there other tips that you have for the fragile stuff? I know we've used the... The apple cartons, the apple cartons and the yep. egg cartons work mm -hmm. good for, th for the decorating for the decorations. balls. Um, um, what about like lighting? Because um, the lighting, there's, you know, every oh, single... All those bulbs. Every light single light, yeah. bulb. Is, mm -hmm. Do you have any tips for... You, you know, there's, of course, stuff that you can buy out there for wrapping lights. Otherwise, take a piece of cardboard and wrap those lights around that piece of cardboard. Um, you just don't want to do like... Um, get them all in a big bunch and then have them all sure. tangled the next year. So as long as you're winding them around something. So kind of like a cord reel. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So yep. we do have another graphic up here with uh, the lights that shows yes. kind of the, yes. just yes. A, a piece of cardboard after mm -hmm. all the shopping you've done. I'm sure there's plenty of uh, yes. Amazon boxes lying around. You can you can yes. cut those up and yep. use those. Yep, um, cut those up. Yep. What about the candles? Yes, the candles. You know what? You can wrap candles either in... Um, uh, paper towel tubes. Um, the the okay. tapers work great sure. in there. Um, another suggestion is wrapping them in an old stocking so that they don't get scratched and so that the colors don't um, transfer kind of onto each, each other. other. Yep. And always remember, um, 
You don't want stuff like in an attic where it's going to get hot and your candles are going to melt in the summer or where your globes are going to um, freeze during the cold months and break. So the wreaths, I notice you, you packaged yours in a, in a garbage sack. Mm -hmm. Are you going to put these in a box then or are you going to hang them up in a, in a closet? Or you what's could put them in a box, um, but with them being on a hanger, if you have an extra spot um, in a closet, that works great. Or if you have a space in the basement where you can buy um, like a cheap clothes hanger, and hang them in there, that'd be great. And if you buy one of those clothes hangers with a cover on it, then you wouldn't need to garbage bag them all, too. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah. what about a Christmas tree? Can you not take that down every year and just leave it up in the corner like Brittany wanted to do? That's what I do. Really? I do. I've done that for several years. I, I haven't decorated my tree in years. It stays decorated. I put a big oh. bag over it. I carry it upstairs to the big closet, and that's where it stays. So you leave it decorated. Leave then. it decorated. I know people with little kids. It's fun to do the decorating. My kids are in mm -hmm. their twenties; they don't care anymore, and I don't want all the work. So leave that's, it decorated. That's fantastic. And, yeah. And then with all the boxes, is it okay to leave it out in a in a garage where it might get colder, or uh, do you leave them it, in the house? It depends a, on what's in it. You might want to have a box with candles and globes or something like that in in your basement so that it's not, you know, temperature sensitive. Like sure. That. So. so what's the benefit uh, to getting this all organized now? An easier setup system next year. Fantastic. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. So get organized. If you need help, obviously, uh, thank you, Lisa, for joining us today. You bet. Thank you. Awesome.